and talk about the frequency increase that's affecting us all at the moment and I'm going to try and make it as tangible uh, as possible as to why we're feeling different and we're all feeling very different inside. Um, so first of all I've got a little notebook here at the side of me so I'll be referring to that um, because I've tried doing this, vid this video several times and I don't really seem to have any assemblance whatsoever so I want to try and put things in some kind of assemblance. So the Schumann resonance, which is the pace of the Earth, which was generally at 7.83, it's increased to over 100 and it still seems to be increasing. As to what it would be now, I don't know. There's very little information um, or I just haven't sourced any at the moment. But more to the point is we can all feel it. So the thing that's happening is the Schumann resonance is raised. So that's actually... Um, telling us that there's been a massive frequency increase so consequently with an increase in energy we can't go backwards on it we can only go forwards on it um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a video of how uh, a water droplet can, can be affected and consider that we are 80% water so how can we be affected by the vibration and the frequency increases that are actually happening now. Um, this is a guy called Greg Braden. It's just a short piece I've chosen from um, a video. And um, it's very relevant to what I'm actually talking about at the moment. So I'll point this thing at the screen and um, have a look at Greg Braden. It's a very old video as well. Um, it must be what 20 25 years old something like that uh, this guy's got a crazy mullet going on but he talks absolute sense about what's actually happening at the moment um, very knowledgeable guy so we'll put this video on for you this is a water droplet that you're going to see and in this water droplet a frequency uh, is being pumped into this water droplet as the frequency uh, is mirrored in the droplet, you'll actually see the geometric patterns in that droplet. Now what's happening, and the reason that this is so significant, is because we're going to do a frequency sweep. We're going to go from low frequencies to higher frequencies. And what you'll find is this. You'll see that in the lower frequencies, the patterns are less complex. And in the higher frequency, the patterns are more complex. So we're going through a sweep from lower to higher frequency. I'm sharing this with you now because Earth is essentially going through a frequency sweep. Our fundamental pulse, our base pulse, that has hovered around 7.8 cycles per second, now is changing. Again, there's a lot of controversy about what the change is, and we're witnessing the change. As we go through our planetary shift of this pulse, patterns of energy must change to respond to that, just as patterns of energy in this water are changing to respond to this, to this pulse. And we'll begin with simply the concentric patterns in the water as the frequency begins. Every once in a while, we'll reach a key threshold resonance such as that moment right there. In that key threshold resonance, the entire pattern morphed into a more complex expression of itself, simply because the frequency changed. Now watch what happens. The frequency is still increasing. Now watch what happens. As we reach a, another key threshold resonance, this entire pattern will morph into a beautifully uh, and more complex pattern of itself. Again, and again, and look at this pattern right here. Look what you're seeing right here. Look at the beautiful geometry. Here's a perfect cube. There's a perfect tetrahedron, a star tetrahedron. In two dimensions, we've got the octahedron. Very powerful images of sacred geometry held in place simply because we've achieved a vibratory pattern that allows that in this water droplet.
And as the vibration increases, these patterns will become more and more complex. You can see the pulse from where you are. Can you see the pulse actually in, uh, in the water? As we go into this, the last set of the frequencies, what you'll see is that the entire, and you'll watch along the outer perimeter, the entire pattern reaches its greatest level of complexity, and then it goes back. Uh, as the frequencies drop, it goes back to what it was, the concentric circles, as it was originally. It almost looks alive. You know, you've been offered many times the concept that thought is vibration. Have you ever considered that emotion is vibration? Feeling is vibration. I think that's pretty self-explanatory really, um, that video, because obviously anything within the um, space of that vibration is going to change and consequently that's what's happening to us at the moment. Um, the effects um, the effects are, I kind of compiled a bit of a list, um, me and my girlfriend compiled a list of the things that are, we're feeling are affecting us the most. And um, first and foremost, I would say, for me personally, sleep patterns. Um, sleep patterns, uh, eating patterns, everything's changed, pretty much my diet's changed. Um, and everybody is going to feel something that's unique to themselves. Uh, so what affects me may not affect you. You might be feeling the effects in a different manner but the point is that we're all feeling something and um, there are things that we can do uh, because it's kind of a bit of one-way ticket this energy it's not going to let us go backwards um, it's time for a change it's time for a change I mean there's so, only so much negativity that can um, can exist for so long and I, th I think we're, that's where, where we're going we're going to a different frequency um, and as I say, it affects everyone in a different manner. Um, I'll have a little look, see what I've got here. Uh, so the list we've compiled, and you will find quite a bit of information on the internet regarding uh, shift symptoms. So, and they'll, they'll all pretty much match up with what, what I'm gonna say. But the point is, uh, if you don't know, then you might be able to relate to to this these problems I'm gonna, uh, gonna tell you about. Um, feeling dysfunctional, absolutely dysfunctional, kind of ill at odds with yourself to such an extent that you kind of question your own sanity. Um, body pain, um, maybe girlfriend, both of us have had um, kind of old, old injuries, body pain come back, pain that we've had previously that has gone and now it's come back. Um, body temperature like hot flashes energy changes within your body as in you know I mean my leg vi my left leg vibrated for something like a week uh, just my left leg um, time speeding up uh, food choices yeah the taste of things has definitely changed you know kind of off meat you know um, got emotional outbursts most definitely anger Forgetfulness while speaking, kind of like you're talking to someone. I've been talking to people, um, talk to everyone about this shift, by the way. That's why I feel it's necessary for me to um, talk on my, my channel, uh, my, my channel, talk on YouTube about this. Well, to talk to, to anyone who's watching about this. Um, Lack of thought process, yeah, you know, you, your thought process seems to have changed as well. I would say we're feeling this massively in our mentality that's actually causing uh, our actions to change. Um, violence is on the up. Um, so we can see that as the vibration increases, it, it actually increases the, um, a lot of, a lot of emotion to such an extent that it'll come out in violence. Um, 
ears ringing. I've had a lot of kind of uh, ringing in the ears, uh, changing frequency changes with, within the ears. Um, so that's about it. That's all I'm going to say as to what's affecting me and my girlfriend. As far as what's affecting you, uh, there may well be some kind of correlation with, between what I've been speaking about. But as I say, on the internet, um, you will definitely find a lot of information on shift symptoms, so have a look at that. So there's a lot of things that you can do on a, on a, a mental level to um, mentality level to actually help with these symptoms um, it's just accept accept what's what's happening um, I found that you know questioning your sanity isn't gonna help because it takes you back to a lower base thought try and have happy thoughts if you can but the thing is most people haven't done enough um, internal work to be able to um, like nor love themselves to the extent that they can share it with others because it seems that a lot of people are sharing um, the negative side rather than the positive side um, and it's just how how the energies are um, affecting people uh, things that you can do I haven't watched TV for a long time don't watch the media I think it's all nonsense it's like we're in a big cartoon I definitely believe we're in a matrix and it's all coming to um, to some kind of head and I'll I've got a lot more to say on this um, but I'll wait and see you know what what um, what the outcome of this video is um, but what I want to what, what I'd like to to kind of finish with I don't want to be um, I don't want people thinking that it's the end of everything, it's not, it's the beginning of what I perceive as something that's totally different from this. This isn't working too well and I'll, I'll kind of be um, graciously accepting what happens, whatever it be. So this video is about something positive um, and the positive thing being change because everybody likes something that's familiar and um, Familiarity isn't going to help us. I'm just going to read this bit. Um, that's, that's actually one of the um, predictions of the Mayans. Um, and it says, The change is coming from the outside in the way of weather, natural phenomena, celestial disturbance, sun flows and man-made self-inflicted trauma. The conflict comes from the inside in the way of personal challenge, grief, bewilderment, depression, anxiety and fear. It's said we are at the crossroads, a time of choosing a new path, deciding on a new self and community direction, venturing into the unknown, finding our true identity of being. Others will choose to stay on the same road, stay with the familiar and place great effort to maintain predictability. So a change is going to be good for us. Uh, as I said, I think we're going to have a frequency change, but we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Thanks for watching.